So here we'll cover two different things. The first will be partition matrices, and then the LU factorization. So first, what is a partition matrix? It's just one that's broken into different sections, or partitions, using vertical and horizontal lines. The augmented matrix is the first partition matrix we dealt with. And these can be helpful if we want to highlight particular sections of a matrix. So here's a particular example of a partition matrix. And we can also write it as a block matrix, A, B, C, D, E, F, where this would be block A, B, C, D, E, and F. And the block matrices are just a little bit easier to work with. So we can add and subtract these just like we would normal matrices, and we can multiply by scalars the same as we would normally. So now let's deal with multiplication. Multiplication is the same basic idea, you just have to keep track of your order. Here I have A times C, and I times I. The second column, A times I, and I times D. My second row says B times C, plus zero, and then B times the identity, plus zero. So the important thing to notice is that since A and B are on the matrix on the left, they should be in the left side in the, in the multiplication. So this matrix is called block lower triangular because it looks like a lower triangular matrix, but it is a block matrix. We're going to suppose that A and C are square and that our matrix M is invertible. We want to find a formula for the inverse. So at this point, I know nothing about the inverse other than the fact that it exists. So I'm just going to multiply by some general matrix, W, X, Y, Z, and get the identity. Multiplying these two gives me AW plus zero, AX plus zero, BW plus CY, and BX plus CZ. And this should still be equal to the identity matrix. So at this point, I have four different equations. AW is equal to the identity. AX is equal to zero. BW plus CY equal to zero. And the last one, BX plus CZ equal to the identity. So the first one I'll deal with is this AW equal to I. Now I know that A is square, and the invertible matrix theorem says that if A is square, and it multiplies by something to get the identity, that it is invertible. So I have that W is equal to A inverse. The fact that A inverse exists tells me my second equation. I can multiply both sides by A inverse and get that X is zero. At this point, I'm gonna jump down to this last equation. I know that X is zero, so this becomes CZ is equal to the identity. And once again, the invertible matrix theorem gives me that C is invertible and that Z is equal to C inverse. And now here we can solve for Y. This says B A inverse plus C Y equal to zero. We can subtract B A inverse over and then multiply both sides by C inverse on the left. So now my matrix is W, X, Y, and Z. So I have this nice formula for the inverse.